You're watching ABC 27's News at 5.30 with Greg Angel. Storm Team Weather with Chief Meteorologist Casanova Nurse and Sports with Brad Dalton. According to doctors with Tallahassee Memorial Hospital's Bariatric Center, obesity is the second leading cause of preventable death in the United States. This is after smoking. In the battle to lose weight, many people turn to all sorts of diets, but do they work? And in your quest to slim down, could you actually be harming your health? I don't know why and I don't know how, but something did click. At 62, Ken Schilling says his decision to get back on a bike saved his life. It was a decision that came a little more than a year ago, January 2012. At the time, Ken weighed nearly 400 pounds. I had made up my mind because I've, I've done, as many people have done, gained and lost a tremendous amount of weight. It wasn't easy at all. He says he's tried a number of different diets to try to shed the pounds. He's one of millions of people each year who try all sorts of diets, protein shakes, you name it, in the quest to lose weight. Some go even further, taking part in what doctors call crash diets. Crash diets in general are things that um, people use to lose rapid weight quickly. Dr. Angelina Kane is with Tallahassee Memorial Hospital's Bariatric Center. She says these crash diets often involve taking in fewer than 1,200 calories a day. Some you eat nothing but grapefruit. There's the excessive exercise crash diet. One of the more common types is a master cleanse. You drink nothing but a mixture of water, lemon juice, and cayenne pepper for several days. Dr. Kane says crash diets do not work for real or long-term weight loss. When people think about weight loss, they don't realize that you can lose weight and not lose fat. So those people are losing weight, but they're not losing fat. You're not going to lose fat that rapidly. Um, generally, you're going to lose water weight or muscle weight. And as soon as you start to eat and drink normally, it'll come right back. With crash diets, you could also be harming your health. And things that affect your sugar and um, rapid weight loss are going to affect your pancreas and um, different organs in your body as well and their function. Doctors say crash diets and depriving your body of essential nutrients can weaken your immune system and increase your risk of dehydration, heart palpitations, and cardiac stress. So what's the best way to lose weight long term? It's really the basics. Um, people want to get a quick fix and they forget about the basics. That means watching what you eat, getting eight hours of sleep each night, and exercise. Angela Glenn at Premier Health and Fitness says changing your routine and changing your lifestyle are also key. You want to make sure that you're doing consistent, regular training over the course of a lifetime because this is a lifetime change. It needs to be habitual that you are exercising on a regular basis. For Ken Schilling, that exercise comes on a bicycle, riding three to four days a week. This whole thing about weight loss and, and weight change, there are they're, they're four words, and it's eat less, move more. That's it. That's, that's all there is.